We have got a lot to get to today, everybody, and I can't wait to do it. Welcome back to a Hardcore Iron Man episode number 34. We got 200 shades of Morton Keys, 200 mahogany home contracts, and 200 barrows chests, not to mention visiting your mom's house 200 times, all on this episode of the Hardcore Iron Man. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. <laughs> Don't mind me just burning keys and getting 62 prayer. And yes, you can probably guess, we're still on that key grind. Hopefully we'll be able to complete the Zealot's outfit. That wasn't a bad chest opening. We got three uniques. Already claimed, but we got three uniques. That's pretty good. And the next full inventory got us two golden lock. I'm gonna have ten of these pretty soon. And yet another full inventory of keys. Two uniques, but nothing for me. Only one unique with that inventory of keys. Hopefully our luck's not turning around. Okay, okay. Not terrible with this inventory of keys. Three more uniques under our belt. <laughs> with this inventory of keys, we finally get our unique at the end. Very unlucky. Three more keys to go. Ah, two uniques pretty much right at the end again. And this is it, everybody. Another 200 bodies burned. And let's see what we can do. I'm not very hopeful that... Ooh, there's a unique. I'm not very hopeful that I'm going to be getting the Zealot's outfit today, but we can all hope for me. <laughs> Always kill your Zealots for good luck. And Amulet of the Damned, one unique. Two uniques, okay. Let's go Zealot. Nope, nope. But at the very least, I make a lot of money doing this. Just high alking all of the things that come out of here. I've already got well over a mil and a half. And because I've been doing a lot of Shades of Morton, there's a couple things that are building up in the bank around here. So let's make some bark armor. Uh, I'm gonna hopefully be able to make this swamp bark, but I don't think I have the runecrafting level for blood bark just yet. But at the very least, I can throw these in the POH and forget about them forever. <laughs> that is until Jagex buffs this armor, which they're planning on doing in the future. Making a pit stop at the rune stop. Gotta get some more blood runes. And now we find ourselves at the nature rune crafting altar. This is where we have to craft the swamp bark armor. I'm not 100% sure if this is any good for me at the moment, but we're gonna be waiting for the updates. And I guess it's time to work on rune crafting so I can unlock the blood bark, isn't it? <laughs> oh, but okay. Just a flash and I saw it. 87 range really stacking up i use that for pretty much my default fighting style and it's really starting to show such a couple more barrows runs and we got the dare rocks plate body and you know what everybody that i believe completes the dare rock set how absolutely useless for a freaking iron man <laughs> a hardcore iron man i might say all right let's go ahead and take a look at the collection log and here's some barrows Oh, Darox, totally complete. It's sweet to see, but I'd love to see you. Guffins, Arams, Carols, any of that. <laughs> RNG, please. 9D7 wood cutting, everybody, and this is starting to scare me. Where do I go to AFK after this? Also, where's my beaver? And if you guys were wondering where exactly we were at with the Barrow's chests, that's 200. And nothing I need out of them. Mm. Uh, yep, yep. Th that settles it. I love miscellanea. I don't need the maple, but look at those seeds. All of those bird houses, the herbs. Oh my god. Just happy to not gather it myself. Halfway there. <laughs> we got ourselves 92 farming. And I really don't think there's very many farming unlocks left until we can get unlimited spirit trees. And you know, I absolutely love shooting stars but when shooting stars are used how they're meant to be used not how the clan chat uses them because it's just been me and this guy for the past 30 something minutes just in silence and i've never had more fun <laughs> but no really i got like a thousand stardust and i was just running around doing clues and there's no way i would have got a thousand stardust in a clan chat i would have got like maybe 40 to 100 stardust before the star exploded on itself. Oddly enough, this is one of the first times I'm actually barraging on this account. Don't know why I don't do it more often. It's pretty good XP. And yes, you might be thinking, your task says a dust devil. 
but I'm an overachiever. Something we've been doing a lot of prep for is herb lore, and we just got 73. Strong weapon poison, that's cool, I'll probably never use that. But really, where else do you think I was gonna get the secondaries for all that crap than these red spiders? And boy, do I need like seven or eight hundred of them. <laughs> but believe it or not, we just got hit points level of 87, and that means I'm a combat level of 103. I also saw a combat level pop-up notification as well. I wish I could run it back to see, but it looked pretty cool. Is that new? Do you guys know? Every time Jagex comes out with a new holiday event, I need to get it done on every single account that I own, especially since the holiday events are always free to play. So please come on all of my accounts and let's get these rewards. Just in case you're wondering, it looks a little something like this. Everyone's just following the main account and now we just gotta do whatever. But I did find something kind of weird. The cutscene is starting for my yellow account, the main account, Dirty Bobby. And watch what every one of these accounts does the second that the cutscene actually starts for him. And there they go. Right, <laughs> I don't really know why, but they all dart off. They all dart off across to this specific spot, and I'm in the middle of a cutscene, as you can see. But they think they're following the person to right here. And now that the cutscene is done, they're starting to run back to a place where I don't necessarily know why they would have tried to follow me at, but who knows. And the weirdest thing about it is all of these accounts are still technically following me. So if I get in enough line of sight for them, they'll get right back in line. Just like that. So weird. The things that you figure out when you're multi-logging. That's quest complete times five. And let's get all of our rewards. We do get kind of a cool shovel. Hopefully that works as a shovel, like a normal shovel all around Gilinor. Not like the golden shovel where it's just a novelty. <laughs> and we even got a really big bronze sword. Or I guess bronze dagger. Give it to a giant. Now it's a bronze dagger. You know, just chilling. Me and the guys. And those red spider's eyes were really paying off. We got ourselves 74 herb lore and there's that antidote mix and our first divine ranging potion. That was something I almost forgot to show was these grubby keys. I ended up getting like freaking 10 of them when I was barraging spiders for like two hours. And I got a lot of potions out of this. I'm gonna obviously throw away all of the food, but if I get anything cool out of this, I'll let you guys know. I'm never really sure how many keys you should take with you with the grubby chest because, I mean, seven kind of seems like an inventory overload, especially if you wanted to keep the food, but hopefully I won't overload my inventory too much with everything on all the seven of these keys. So many sharks to say goodbye to. <laughs> oh, oh my, all right, there we go, I got an orange egg sack. Uh, nope, that's not the one that you can cut open, so... Oh, that's a pet transmog. Okay, we're definitely back to back. <laughs> all right, all right, you love to see it. I think I have to grind out Sriracha, huh? All right, <laughs> well, that's the next pet on the list. I, I honestly don't think you can get anything else from this. So, to the next thing. Okay, so I don't like aerial fishing, right? Hunter level of 78. But <laughs> every time I go to do an activity like barbed fishing or something and i don't have the equipable fishing rod it feels like a slight against me personally so i just gotta get these god dang fish caught <laughs> but all i wanted to do was afk and here i am aerial fishing you know I've, I've had a lot of weird things happen to me and barrows but i've never had the person spawn twice that's so weird and like, he's still standing there, ready to fight me. I'm super curious if I can kill this dude a second time. <laughs> Has this ever happened to any of you guys? Leave it down in the comments. Okay, so I smacked him up, 92. Let's see if I can smack this guy up too. Yeah, he, he wants a piece. Oh my God, all right. How many times I gotta teach you this lesson, old man? It's called plonking. Uh, well, I guess that was deserved, huh? I'll take that second Darox axe. 
And I think that's probably around the most expensive thing that you can get, I think. You know, sometimes you get a Slayer task and it's just taking forever and you're like, man, I wish I could just grind through this a little bit faster. And then you get a superior <laughs> and another superior to boot. If there's one thing that's going to make you uncomfortable, it's the mouth on that blood veld. I just need one more fiery death to create uh, 750 Slayer points. That's one Slayer pouch locked in and let's go buy that bad boy. Rune pouch, by the way, not Slayer pouch. I don't know what the hell a Slayer pouch is. Yes, please. And this is going to be such a good upgrade. Do we get a pop-up for it? Oh, did I buy it? Oh, that's not a buy button. <laughs> okay, cool. Is there a pop-up for it? No, there is not. Lame. But this is such a great upgrade, everybody. I cannot wait to get to cracking on this. 127 contracts, 79 points, and level 70 construction. It's time for us to make a new pool in the player-owned house. And I gotta make stamina potions now. Damn it. Herblore, grind again. 71 construction right after. I don't know why, but Mahogany Homes is just so easy to grind. And I know you should save up for like the most expensive one first, but I like the dopamine, okay? Carpenter's boots locked in and ready. Quickly clicking past, we got 72 construction as well. Just an hour later, man, these levels really grind out. And I'm only using teak logs. To make it a little bit more interactive, I've been high alking the entire time from a Nahogany Homes, and we got 85 magic doing so. We can use the highest magic weapon in the game now. I think we should go get some magic gear. <laughs> so altogether we had 200 keys, 200 barrows chests, and now we're at our 200th contract with Mahogany Homes. It's a nice trend that I really didn't plan on. <laughs> And my attention span's only gonna last a little bit longer. So that took us all the way to 73 construction. This'll be my first set of ammo lace crystals bought on the Iron Man. A momentous occasion indeed. How many crystals comes out of these packs? A hundred. That's actually really cool. More than I was thinking. So at the very least, stamina potions won't be terrible to get. But the secondaries, together these Mortmire fungus are absolutely a pain in my ass as well. Is there a harder potion to make than stamina potions? You guys leave it down in the comments below. This is the epitome of I don't know what to AFK. So <laughs> I've gotten myself six more Baronite handles. And that's because I had six Baronite heads. And at the same time, I'm not really sure if I'm ever going to be able to get the hilts. But, hey, getting the inventory cleared out is something that's cool. This really didn't take that long, don't worry. <laughs> you know, I'm always going to be a huge proponent of Jagex really screwed the pooch when they made this absolutely awesome environment here. <laughs> and what do I mean by that? They made everything like 90% of the way and then shifted up. Most of the stuff here could be so awesome if it just had like one more idea attached onto it, or if they were tradable at all. <laughs> but yeah, we're still on the Baronite grind. I decided to do something weird while I can AFK. And the last piece that we're looking for is coming from these bad boys over here. I haven't gotten it yet, but I'll tune in when I do. Well, I'm like 200 kills in, we still don't have a hilt. So I'm gonna go ahead and do something else since I got level 80 attack. <laughs> Even though we've green log his spory, we're still killing it every chance we get for the pet. And now we're gonna get the pet. I can guarantee level 60 feels like... Okay, kill count number 61 feels like it's gonna be the pet. I... Yeah, okay, well, kill count number 62. I'm really thinking that this is the one, everybody. I've got a good feeling about kill count number... 63 actually i meant 63 that's gonna be the one that we actually get the oh son of a bit and that's it everybody if you liked the video don't forget to like comment or subscribe and we'll see you all later